Okay, in this part, I'm hoping to get some herbalism running. Um, in corrosion, you can use herbalism to salvage parts, tires, um, concrete slabs, that sort of thing from the environment. They act just like plants in normal DF, and then you process those into useful items. I'm hoping to get that running. Uh, also, our hospital could use some uh, some love. I'm hoping to get the new hospital training area set up. Um, not sure how it works yet, so we'll see what happens there. And also, I want to get the dojo and archery range up and running. Hopefully, get some guys with some more skill. I've got a picture here of dwarf therapist. How things are at the moment. I'll try to take screenshots as I change things to keep you guys updated on what's actually happening and what I'm actually doing. Also, I've realised that we're out of space, so we're going to build the fort a little bit bigger underground. Now, I'm pretty sure once I get sieged, I won't be able to go outside for a fair while, so I'm going to stock up on wood. And I mean stock up. should be able to access this area once we're sieged because the smaller drawbridge will go up and this should be full of wood. Should keep us going. Designate plants to be gathered. And I'll set only one, maybe two, two guys. So I'll set two guys to be herbalists and only herbalists. They need to have a fair bit of skill otherwise they don't have any success. Now I've actually made a small modification to allow me to store the salvaged plants in a plant stockpile. I'll put up a quick tutorial on the vid how to do that. It's an easy change in the raws. Otherwise you have to process them immediately. Actually we'll have enough wood so I'll use some uh, barrel stockpile. Nine barrels should be enough. see here I've got a problem that now that I filled in the moat here that we've got a guy stuck which is typical and people can walk straight across these walls we're gonna build a little barrier across there so the zombies can't get through and now he's free on it first in case we get any flying monsters. No success from the herbalist yet. The angry army bloke that we had in Dwarf Therapist screenshot has become happy again apparently. And we got another thief. doctor's workshop out. Should allow me to use animal corpses to train a doctor up. I'll suspend these until we get more planks, uh, more wood logs coming in. Looks this way. And the reason I'm doing this is so that they don't get stuck on the other side. It just increases the pathfinding cost to go across that area. Because it's a very standard dwarf fortress. There, see? We're just inside, and not even listening to me. Oh, and stuck. What an idiot. That should have worked, but apparently not. OK, 
can just remove that whole piece anyway. I'm getting overzealous with my defenses. Cannot collect webs. There's plenty of webs right there. Need masonry. And you'll see I had a bunch of guys I've labelled newcomers. Um, the way I tend to play is the migrants just get bulk job allocations. So I just clicked for all of the newcomers to become masons. And now it's done. Now I have to allocate a doctor. Maybe I'll take a dedicated guy. Let's see who's got the best skills. No relevant skills. Okay, so who's the worst in everything else? Well, we can have this guy. Work Enforcer. No, he's the woodcutter guy. Can be somebody else. Civitas, tax buck. Needs an office as well. He's married. As children. Better learn to be a pretty good doctor then, ASAP. Okay, now Civitas Tax Buck is now our new doctor. If he's not lazy, he should be doing these jobs. Some new bedrooms. I'll have to make a new workshop area. Really ugly area. Oh well. We have a skulking infected. And my guy, my farmer, has been hit in the leg. Send my guys out to kill it. Okay, his left cheek is cut open and his left leg is bruised. So, if we can assume that the left leg is damaged from the zombie and the cheek is not, then we maybe don't have uh, a zombie on our hands. Oh, he's really susceptible to disease. That's going to go really well. A well-dressed person with amazing personality. It's funny that he's my farmer. Oh, that skulking guy's gone. Oh, still hunting him. Oh, now he's gone. Stand down, boys. Ooh. Didn't see this last time. Some aluminum from the antimony. Don't bother with that galena. Which doesn't produce gas. Anything that produces a stone is completely safe. Now, my farmer is asleep. Let's see if he's got zombie sickness. Diagnosis required. Where's that doctor? Suspend his training, and maybe he'll get on it. I don't want metal ore up there. I want it down here, where we'll put the smelter. That's a bit messy, but I'll fix it later. Zero idlers, that's what I like. out for later. Uh, right now I want the miner to focus on getting more ores in 
into the fortress. Palisade. This guy seems to have a problem. His right hand. The right hand is broken. Jesus. Okay, not sure what we can do about that right now. He's unconscious. Which is the only problem. Guys are still on duty, and the farm has been diagnosed. While I was away, let's have a look at that. Verga Densata. Hmm, hasn't been diagnosed with anything. You can also check this in the health area. There's no requests. That's him there. Highlight. There would be little icons here if you could... If there was something going on, obviously, that shows what each... It's quite tricky to actually read, but you get used to it. The one we're looking for, I believe, is vomiting. Or nausea for life. Or infection, that sounds like what we want. The very last one. Keep an eye if you get a purple IN in any of these columns. It's danger. Also think I need some crafting as well. It's winter. Don't have any clay to collect. What's going on? A wagon has arrived. Oh man. I didn't know there was wagons back in DF. My tiny little bridge is not good enough for wagons. Time to upgrade. I wonder what I do have for trade. Let's get some crafts ASAP. I wonder if I can sell them cigars. Apparently I've got heaps of tobacco leaves. Why can't I make any cigars? Tobacco leaves containing item. Oh god. Uh, don't build that bridge, guys. And cancel all of the designation. And my name is... There's a rifleman out here, that's interesting. They're not fighting anything. Restrict them to burrows. Military screen. Alerts. This sets everyone to a high alert. The civilians will only be allowed in the meeting hall for the moment until I close the bridges, and the mo modest warriors will all be on duty. Okay, we're going to look at what kind of zombies we've got. Throwing infected. Light infected. Daunting infected. Uh, those merchants are going to get ridiculously owned. Ah, oh, that's the riflemen's from the merchant wagon. Not mine. A decrepit creature. Yada yada. Able to use simple weapons. That was the daunting one. Throw stones, which impels enemies to slow them down. They're up there in the top right corner. They're moving. Okay. There seems to be a giant king snake with them as well. Yes. It's a light infected. Um, it doesn't set off my traps, and it seems to be riding a king snake. A giant king snake. I'm pretty sure the king snake will set off the traps, though. That I have any traps. Okay, let's check everybody's indoors. Maybe the merchants will get in beforehand. That's up to them. Looks 
is pretty good. Okay, Adder and Ina are retracted. That's not a drama. Now we can extend the Ina. Okay, we're safe. Question is, do I let the merchants in? What I'll do is I'll put down the outer and close up the inner. Go merchants, go! Sweet. Merchants are in. Now we can put people back down to normal alert. Which will let them do jobs outside. But they can't go outside the wall, so they're safe. Apart from some of the merchants, mind you. What I'm doing here is setting up a craft stockpile. don't seem to be at the trading post. Oh, worst case, they starve to death. Oops. 